All right, guys, so in the previous video, we went through all of the hardware that was on the actual Arduino board. And then I said that I was going to go over different resources that I found that have really helped me out to understand how to program the Arduino. So let's start off with uh, a bunch of books that are available. So I'm currently reading Simon Monk's uh, book, uh, Programming Arduino, Getting Started with, uh, with Sketches. Uh, this is an awesome book. So if you're old school like me uh, and you like just reading through a book and giving you examples and then working way through it, uh, I love just having a book in front of me and I can watch, I can read through each page, just slowly, you know, work through the book and then work on each program that, uh, that he's providing. So there's a number of different uh, books out here. So all I did was I just did a, a quick search for the best Arduino books uh, and it comes up with a whole whack of different books that are available here from Jeremy Bloom, who has a good um, YouTube channel as well. Uh, and but my favorite so far is uh, a Simon Monk's book right here. But there is a whole whack of different books out there. Arduino for Dummies, um, this one here from Make as well. So um, this is from um, Massimo Banzi, the co-founder of, uh, of Arduino. So there are some really good uh, books that are out there. Uh, but maybe re like reading a book isn't, uh, isn't your style and you're more like this, where you're watching YouTube and learning from, uh, from YouTube. So um, I'm hoping that you're liking my, my videos so far, but you wanna kind of bounce back and forth between different teachers. Um, so there are a lot of people that, that already have some great playlists out there. So let's start off uh, with this one right here. So Core Electronics, I think this one has what, 35 different, uh, yeah, there's 35 different videos that are, that are here. This is a great uh, playlist to start with as well. So what I'll do in this video is I'll just rock through all of my favorite YouTubers for Arduino. Uh, we'll try to keep it between like less than five minutes. And then in the comment section below, you guys can type in all of your favorite books, YouTube channels, um, Udemy courses, anything where you've, you've used uh, to understand the Arduino so that um, others can go to a specific resource and we don't have to spend hours trying to find a really good resource. So Core Electronics is great. And I'll put all these links below in the comment section. Uh, Paul McWhorter, he is like, like the golden boy for Arduino tutorials. He has, this is the new Arduino tutorials. He had a previous uh, playlist that I went through before. I think I'm up to like, I think I'm on 25 of his thing, but look, just a disgusting amount of uh, videos. He's all the way up to uh, 68 different videos that are available on the Arduino. I love learning from Paul. He has some great videos on Arduinos and other topics as well. So I would highly recommend uh, his channel. Okay, Circuit Basics has some great uh, videos as well. Um, so specific things on how to hook up um, the LCD or how to hook up uh, some of the temperature sensors. So I really like uh, Circuit Basics as well. They don't have, they don't seem to have like a specific list where they start slow and build up. They seem to have uh, specific um, videos on specific topics that you're looking for. But again, you can do a search on the channel and find basically whatever your, your, uh, your heart desires. Uh, programming, programming Electronics Academy. Um, I started with these guys back at least five years ago. Um, the beginning music is incredibly annoying, but if you get past the, the music and the beginning of the video, uh, each video is really good. Um, so there, in this, uh, in this course, there are 20 different videos that you can uh, rock through. So just go through and see um, who you like to listen to. So it could be that some person's voice is really annoying. Um, they're really knowledgeable, but you just can't get through or like the music with these guys. Um, it was just the music. Every time the, the video came on, I couldn't deal with the, the, uh, the intro music. Um, this is a drone bot uh, workshop. This is a phenomenal YouTube channel. Um, he goes through like, um, I don't know the gentleman's uh, name, but his channel is like between him and Paul McWhorter. They are the best Arduino uh, channels that I have found out there. There is so much information packed in on each of these uh, videos. So here, this is just um, a playlist on different types of sensors. Um, but he just goes through everything in such like finite detail. By the time you, you're finished the, the video, you're like, wow, I totally understand that sensor. I know exactly what I'm doing in order to control that stepper motor. Um, just phenomenal, phenomenal uh, uh, content there. Okay, this is uh, Andreas Spice. Um, I think he's uh, Swedish. Um, 
Thank you, Swedish. Um, but uh, he has some great videos. And if you're moving forwards from Arduino into Raspberry Pi and ESP32, you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, but the Arduino is just a stepping stone into such cool things like the, Ar the Raspberry Pi, the ESP32, uh, Node Red. This is a great channel. Andreas has some phenomenal content. Uh, so if you're looking for specific topics, again, he doesn't have like a like start off slow and build up like Paul McCorda has, um, but he does have really good videos on um, specific sensors and moving forward. Um, he's a great guy to uh, to check out. Uh, it could be that um, that uh, you're not just learning off of uh, YouTube. You're also going to uh, Udemy. So I am following. Um, who is this? This is. Uh, who is this? I can't remember who this is. <laughs> this is getting started with uh, Arduino. I don't remember the gentleman's name who uh, who did this uh, this course, uh, but there's a number of really good courses on Udemy. Uh, and just check with Udemy. Every once in a while, there's a sale where they sell, they go from something like 200 bucks down to 14 bucks, and you can get a phenomenal course for like 14 to 16 uh, 16 bucks. Okay, once you've moved on and you learned the basics. Um, then you may want to uh, to do something like this. So this is Master the Basics of Arduino, a full Arduino programming course. Uh, the length of this is four hours and thirty minutes. This is a video where they they kind of they they think that you already or they they're they're thinking that you already have a good understanding of the programming environment. So this is a good review course. This is not a course where you start off slow and build up. This is kind of a review of everything that we are going through or that you're going through on the other channels. Once you have uh, a good under understanding of the, um, of the Arduino environment, and then you just wanna do specific projects, uh, then I would check out Eli the Computer Guy. He's got some great uh, videos like vehicle speed logging and alert, uh, PIR motion detection, um, LCD temperature humidity alerts with a timestamp. So specific projects that once you understand the, the environment and how to program, you can delve into his stuff and he'll show you some really cool projects. Uh, in addition to Eli, uh, there is um, Becky Stern and she's got some, some great uh, videos here. And I'm going to, to take some of her content and build up for my next video. So the next video that we're gonna do is going to be um, looking at uh, something called Tinkercad. So there's a great, um, program on there from AutoCAD or from the guys who create AutoCAD, Autodesk. Uh, it's called Tinkercad and you can uh, like create your, your programs and connect, create your connections on your computer. So say you're waiting for your uh, eLego kit to get to you and you just want to start learning Arduino programming. This is a way that we can learn the, the programming um, and I'll go through this in the next uh, video showing all my comments section there. Um, so we'll go through the Tinkercad in the next video. It's an awesome ability to uh, to drop different components in there, and then you can control this by either doing Scratch uh, or through um, the actual Arduino IDE. And you'll also see that once you create something in Tinkercad, you can download it and then use it within within the Arduino IDE as well. Okay, so we'll go through this guy. Um, once I've gone through the basics of Tinkercad. Then we're going to create this circuit right here. We have a red, a yellow, and a green LED, uh, each with their current limiting resistors. And we're going to sequentially control each of those LEDs. Um, and we'll see if we have, not me, but you, if you have a good understanding from my previous video as to like what the basics are within the IDE, like uh, set up your, um, your variables. Then we have the void setup and the void loop and how to actually get these LEDs to turn on using that digital write high and low. So we will do uh, the Tinkercad next, and then we'll use Tinkercad. We'll bring up this one, the multiple LEDs and breadboards. Um, I'll show you how you can control this either through Scratch or through the Arduino IDE. Uh, and then we will see how to sequentially turn on a number of different LEDs. All right, guys, so we'll stop her there. Uh, leave it in the comment section below what your favorite YouTuber is, what your favorite book is. If you're taking a Udemy course and you find it really good, then leave it in the comment section below so that I can start looking at that content and learn from them as well um, and provide my own content here. 
Um, or just save somebody from looking for like hours or like buying a garbage uh, course on Udemy. Tell us what's really good out there, what you've really enjoyed um, and what you've, you've learned the most from. All right, guys, thanks very much for your patience. I'll see you in the next video and we'll start to look at the Tinkercad environment.